Well, it is a gloomy and dark day, which means it's the perfect day for video games. I, ladies and gentlemen, am a little bit under the weather. Oopsies. And so that means that a little bit lower on energy. Now, I've been low on energy these past couple of videos because I've been tired, but today I feel extra low on energy. Woke up with a sore throat. Not the most exciting thing. But, you know, the last couple of days... I've been just having such a good time playing a game that I haven't played in literally a decade. I have been playing World of Warcraft. Yes, World of Warcraft. My buddy Chase has gotten me back into it and, you know, I've missed it. What I think is the most fun about playing games like whatever it may be, World of Warcraft or multiplayer games, is the hopping on a Discord call and talking to, you know, two or three other dudes while you're playing a game. It, it's just, it's so much fun. I think it comes down to the very thing that we've talked about many a time on this channel, which is community and a sense of community that exists within video games. I personally have been really enjoying my times in the evening with Chase and his buddies and now my buddies, and we've just been getting after, wow. I remember back when I was in college, freshman year in college, I never really went. I spent most of my time actually at Panera. And the reason why I was at Panera is because I would ditch class, my music theory class, because I was a music major, and go and play World of Warcraft <laughs> at Panera. I never was addicted to the game, but I'll tell you, I certainly uh, didn't like school. Looking back, I missed a lot of school. And played video games instead but right now I feel like there's kind of this weird space in the video game world where we're for me at least I'm waiting for more Nintendo stuff to drop and I've been playing games I've never played before because I released myself of any pressure that may exist being a creator I no longer am tying myself to any franchise I'm not tying myself to any console and not a Nintendo dad, I'm not a PlayStation guy, I'm not an Xbox gamer, I'm not a PC gamer. There are things that I like about all four of those, but I personally am not tied to any specific one. I know that we talked, I think it was Cup like 10 or 11, I forgot, dude, I forgot, but um, I, we talked about the Steam Deck and I was really excited about it because I was like, man, new new hardware, this is gonna be great. I can't wait to get the Steam Deck. And I think that what I really was getting at was it was something new. I was doing further thought and spending 550, $600, I was in my creator mindset. This is gonna get views. I'm gonna be able to talk about it. And then I really broke it down and thought, am I going to play the Steam Deck? Maybe a little bit. There's a possibility I will. But instead, I used the very budgeted money that I was going to use to get a Steam Deck. And I spent it elsewhere. <laughs> I purchased more coffee gear. <laughs> I know, it seems like I don't need any more coffee gear because I have so much. But I actually got a new grinder. Not a hand grinder, but an actual, like, standalone grinder. I already have one in the kitchen, but... I want one that's like really precise, so I spent money on that, and then I got a new kettle. This kettle's great, a really fantastic one, but I got one that just looks better, and actually has a video game on it. So we'll review that. <laughs> oh man, but today's cup is really just gonna be us hanging out and just talking, man. Like, I, I have really these past 16 days 16 days I've never posted 16 days in a row these past 16 days have been the most spectacular gaming that I've experienced in the past I'd say three years I have been able to without any sort of pressure without any sort of requirements boot up my PlayStation and get after Modern Warfare 3 yes I have been playing that every day play a couple rounds of Fortnite, get onto my computer and play WoW, you know, turn on my Switch and play Super Mario Wonder, I'm looking forward to Super Mario RPG, and today, really, I don't have any big talk about, like, oh, this specific topic, I think, 
for me more, today is a, a reflection day. We're looking back on the past couple of weeks and just really soaking in the reality that I spent 16 days now just enjoying video games. And I guess if we're gonna talk, oh, it's raining. It's raining. I love the rain so much. <clears throat> I think if we're gonna look back and if we're gonna extrapolate any sort, extract, so to speak, yeah, buddy, extract anything from today's cup, that is that maybe enjoyment is as simple as just doing it. I know that seems like a weird, like, hippy dippy thing to say, but like, if, I mean, I, I'm kind of just even in talking about it right now in awe of the experience of how these past 16 days. And there's been so much negativity around certain games that have been, you know, coming out these past, you know, few months. I, I know I've brought up a great deal. I've brought up um, Call of Duty, but I think it just has gotten such a crazy bad rap. Um, because content is really, really bizarre the way that it all works. And when you're removing yourself from that, it's not what you think it is. I, I never would have thought that, you know, these past couple of years of gaming, I got so wrong. And I feel like I really did. Um, because I was in this hypercritical state. I was in this extremely ob observational and like, hey, you know, I'm just going to... Uh, rip this apart and see where it's at and try to figure out like the ins and outs so I can talk about it and Dude When you don't do that stuff is so much more enjoyable Holy cow Also, I need to do some quick math. I increased the ratio. I increased the coffee amount So we still want to go 15 to 1 Right, so we're gonna 22 times 15 to get the 330. What if we did 16 to one? Let's try 16 to one. 22 times 16 equals 352. So we're gonna go 352. We'll go 350, and we're gonna do 100 gram pours every 45 seconds, or every 30 seconds with a 15 second pour. So we're gonna go, I have 10 more seconds to get up to 250. Three, to one, there's 250, perfect. And then in 30 more seconds, I'm gonna do another two, another 100 grams, hit the agitation and we'll get the 350. And hopefully, I think I might be too fine on this grind if I'm being honest, I don't know. We're just doing some some quick stuff, coffee wise. This, this, this talk today is really just us hang, like sitting down and having a cup of coffee. You know, the, the, Conversations that we've all had over these uh, past couple of weeks have really been great for me. Um, they have reminded me uh, of why I started doing this. They've reminded me that there are people out there that actually still enjoy video games and aren't just screaming about stuff. Dudes, I like some of the conversations that I have had over these past couple of years have just been people yelling at me about how I'm so wrong about stuff or whatever, and then it puts you in this state where like you have to be really, really informed. I don't really want to get into the objective world of video games. I want to stay in the subjective world of video games. Does that make sense? I think there's something very special about that. There is no objective world. There isn't like, this is a interactive art form, so to speak. Okay, I, now we're looking at this extraction right now and I'm looking at a really, really long extraction time. We're almost at three minutes, which is, I think, too long. I'm going to cut it at three. Oh, man. I, I think, yeah, we did. Too, it's too long. I think the grind size was too fine. Hey, we're living and learning, baby. We're living and learning. Let's see what we got here. I'm cutting it at 3.30, which is uh, probably 30 seconds longer than I'd ever want to go. Honestly, I'd want this to be closer to 2.45, so almost 45 seconds. We're cutting at 3.30. We're gonna do, boom. And I don't know what the beverage weight is, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is figure out what our extraction beverage weight was. 
So we're at this right here. We're gonna pour a hundred at a time. Hundred. Let's let's go one ten. One ten. So our beverage one ten. Good. We're at one ten. Remember that one ten. And then uh, I'll drink all of that, and then we'll add to it again. Oh man. Yeah. I uh, I think that I am not prepared to talk about a crazy subject today and you know sometimes that's just going to be what it's about um sometimes you just wake up and the day you let the day make the decision and that's more of what today is all about i'm woke up not feeling the best and i needed to make myself a cup of coffee which i this is my second one my first one was actually an espresso because i it was just too like too tired when I woke up my daughter was awake I had a beautiful I opened up I woke up to a wonderful gift from um, Chase's mother she sent my family a Christmas advent calendar that has uh, that has Harry Potter stuff because she has this crazy awesome like room that I got to stay in when I visited and it's all Harry Potter theme it's like really well done it makes you feel like you're actually at Hogwarts and she sent us an advent calendar for Christmas, which is really sweet of her. I love those guys. And, you know, I just figured today was a day that I was gonna get some work done because um, I wanna take advantage of that. Today is a day where my daughter is at my in-laws, so I get to work, but I literally, it's, what are we looking at right now? It's almost 11, I'll have finished this cup by 11. I'm gonna tidy up the room. And I'm going to play video games for a few hours today, just uninterrupted. Um, I'm hoping to finish Super Mario Wonder and just enjoy that and spend some time there. Um, you know, guys, I'm I'm really content, I think, and that's that's a, a point of celebration for me because I, for the first time in a few years. Um, I'm like just enjoying stuff and I don't know that's such a special feeling yeah you guys are like here you guys probably see I'm like realizing this as I'm talking about it you know today is one of those days where I just turned on the camera and I was like we're gonna just talk um, because you know you just sit down with a friend and you're just like what do you you know what's going on I'm like you know we talked yesterday but today nothing new you know a lot of the same Trying to be grateful for everything I have and trying to be, you know, intentional with my thoughts. And not trying to do research on what to talk about. You know, I think that's another thing that I'm realizing as I deconstruct and dismantle all of the um, thought processes that I have ex created, which is make sure you're on topic and all that stuff. Like, these are anti YouTube videos. And they are intended to be the opposite of everything that ex is supposed to happen, you know. And so the one last thing that I need to release myself of is expectation. The expectation that JD is going to get on camera and educate us on a specific topic every day. And nah, today is one of those days where I'm talking because... It's nice to talk, but realistically, like, this could be a video where I just, there will be a video where I just turn on the camera and we just sit, I'm going to put on some music and we're going to sit and drink a cup of coffee together in silence. What an idea. Dude, what if that's my best video? Holy cow. That'd be so sick, by the way. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do one day. The day I get all of my new equipment, I'm going to unbox it, plug it all in. No, because I'll have to rinse out and uh, I'll have to dial in some stuff. So maybe I won't unbox it. The unboxing video of all of my new equipment will do talking and then I'll rinse everything out. That one actually might have a couple edits in it. I'll rinse everything out and get going from there. That one's going to be a little bit longer, but... The day after that, that cup of coffee, guys, how cool would that be? Dude, I don't know why that's like 
tripped me out. It's like su super fun idea for me. Just like, just it's there's no talking. That's music and coffee, dude. Also, let me um, let me know. You know, just just hit me up if you guys want me to um, share with you how to make coffee. I I want to share more of that with you guys because it's a very huge passion of mine. And so, I, you know, if you guys want that kind of thing. Okay, let's see. How much more of this beverage am I? Can I fit it all? I can fit it all. So it looks like, how much water? 350. 350 in. I got 275 out and there was some dripped off here. So, uh, what is that? What did I lose? What, 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 how much did I get? I, that was not a good extraction if you think about it. Was 275 divided by 350 equals. I got 78, almost 80%. I'm not sure what a good extraction rate, extraction ratio is. Hey, we're gonna learn together. Dude, what, can this just be like, we talk about video games obviously and manga. Uh, but also just like get so in the weeds about coffee. You guys into that idea? You guys want to go on that journey with me? I really do. By the way, how cool would it be if I got an espresso machine in here? Like a legit espresso machine. How do I transform this place into a coffee shop? How do we do that? That's tough because I also want it to feel very, very homey and cozy and that's why I put away all of my recording equipment every day because I want this office to feel very, very light. But maybe we do that. Maybe I figure out how to mount some of my stuff up because I'm not streaming anymore, so I don't really need all of these monitors. I have a laptop. Dude, what if that's the case? What if we get a little coffee shop going in here? If you're with me right now, I want you to answer in the comments below. I want you to give me your favorite mythological animal. I want that. You want to know what my favorite mythological animal of all time is? And I hope I'm saying this right. I think it's a chimera. Let me look it up. Hold on, just stick with me for a second. A chimera, is that the... It's not... Is that... Is that the lion and the... No, it's not a chimera. What is the lion... Lion... A flying lion. What's the flying lion? What is that? Flying lion myth mythological creature. Mythological creature. Uh, griffin. A griffin. I think griffins are... Hey, I'm a Gryffindor, so that makes sense. I think griffins are the sickest mythological creatures. Because lions are tight, but what's tighter than a lion? One that can fly. That's what I would call hella tight. <laughs> That's for you, Steven, because I know how much you hate when I say hello. But hey, it just is what it is. Guys, I think out of all my cups I've done, this is probably one of my favorites because we're just hanging out, you know? If you guys have questions, if you have any questions you want to ask me, um, ask them, dude. Also, I would love to talk with you guys. It's a give and take. So, you know, just like a conversation you would have with a friend, they bring up topics and you talk about it with them. Just... You know, let me know what you guys want to talk about anywhere, whether it is in uh, the section, the comment section, or if it's on Discord, which um, our Discord has been growing exponentially since the start of these coffee talks and these cups. And so, I, you know, that makes me really happy. The more people that want to have conversations around video games and share some of their thoughts, you know, people talk about how gaming is in a lull right now. And while I think it can be, new gaming can be, the passion for gaming I think is at an all-time high. There's so many options for us and so many games to play that I feel like it's just, it's unreal, right? Like, there's just so much. Looking through the list of games that were, um, that were elected, that were nominated, was that it? For awards is just like, holy smokes, this is a pretty vibrant list. Um, if I'm being honest with you, this is the ratio. This is a good ratio. 16 to 1, 22 gram dose. I like this ratio. 
I might want to play with the grind size just a bit. Also, so when I get new, um, mat oops, when I get new material, not material, when I get new gear, I want to share all my recipes based on that gear. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, the gear I'm getting isn't the cheapest. So if you're looking to purchase gear to be alongside with me, I'm gonna try my best to try to like match particle sizes and like do my best to figure out other machines that will um, be able to match those for you. And so I have a cheaper grinder that isn't consistent with particle size. Particle size are the grinds. And so this hand grinder, I think is gonna be the closest I get to it. I'm gonna, there is an app that exists that allows me to compare side by side. So we're gonna get my new grinder, which is, if you wanna look it up, it's the Ode 2 with the SSP uh, burrs. It's special uh, gold burrs. They're not gold, they're just red coated. Um, and they create such a flavor profile that's out of this world, which I'm really excited for. Um, so that's the grinder. Um, and then from there, the, the tea kettle doesn't matter. You want a variable one because I am gonna mess with the temperature of certain water. Um, and so, you know, we have the Bona Vita. There's plenty of variable ones. I am getting the fellow one to match. Um, but other than that, those are really the two. And then of course a scale, but scales come a dime a dozen. I will end up getting one that is uh, by Akaya and the scale there allows you to actually measure the flow rate and all that stuff. So you guys will see how fast and how slow I pour. And so for you, um, that might give you precision, but all that together is really pricey, right? The, the, the grinders, uh, 500 bucks with those added burrs. Um, the the uh, scales 220 um, and the tea kettle doesn't really matter. The tea kettle, I think you can get a variable one for like 60 bucks, but it has to be gooseneck. Um, and so that ends up being, you know, like almost 800 bucks of brewing equipment. So I understand that this outside of some people's budgets, you will not care. For those of you who that's not outside of your budgets, let me know um, in Discord before you buy, because I think I can get like a discount code or something that we both can benefit a little bit from. And uh, that way we can have exactly the same gear or somewhat close. I am gonna use this as the, um, the gold standard for the alternate grind, because I feel like this is more consistent than my other one. And it's portable and able to be used. And I like that a lot. This is like 80 bucks, a really good buy, really good buy. Um, and I find it to be more consistent than my other grinder. So this will be like, and the Ode 2 is gonna be this grind size. On the uh, Time More, it's gonna be this grind size or close to it, and then you guys will be able to go from there. It's an expensive hobby, but um, it'll be fun for us to do this together, I think, if that's what you're into. Mm. Also, if you're this far, you're probably not gonna be this person, but if you're someone who's like, man, I don't like this content, when are you gonna get back to the other stuff? As it stands now, I'm not. And so if this isn't for you, um, you cannot, like, no offense, there's no offense taken. Unsubscribe from it because I don't want you to keep getting served something you don't like and selfishly, it's bad for my analytics if you're like, ah, 30 seconds, I don't wanna watch this anymore. So just, you know, we can go on and just be like, JD changed, I'm gonna move on, which is totally cool. That was a really good cup of coffee and now I'm more than excited to say that I get to sign off for the day and play me some video games while it's raining outside. Ha! How cool is that? Oh! Ooh! That was a hearty burp. <laughs> Alright guys, 